Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, and I'm here again today with the Dexabel Vivo SX7, and this is a standalone MIDI module. So if you haven't watched my uh, review on this, I strongly suggest that you do so because this is one awesome unit. But what I'm here to cover today is polyphony. Now, all the Dexabel products, keyboards, standalone modules, whatever you're using, they all use the same sound engine and they use the same processing power in their chips. Now, what they're using is this really, really cool quad core processor with 320 oscillators in there. So that's capable of virtually unlimited polyphony. So I wanted to explain exactly what polyphony is so that you'll understand what virtually unlimited polyphony means. Now polyphony, let's break that up into the base words. You've got poly and phony. Um, it's pronounced polyphony when you put it all together, but poly means many and phony means sounds like phonics, phony. Okay, so many sounds, polyphony, polyphony. All right, now, when you have a basically a digital piano from any manufacturer, they're going to give you a measurement of their polyphony. It's going to be 64 or 128 or 192 or 256 or in some cases 384. And what those refer to is notes of polyphony. So when, let's just take, a hypothetical example of 100 notes of polyphony. So that means I can play 100 notes, theoretically, and that's what you're going to hear. And when I go beyond that, it's going to steal from the first notes that I played to make room for the next, because it's going to only support 100 at a time. Now let's go over what that means. One note of polyphony should equal one note played. But that's not the case because one note played is actually two notes of polyphony because these are basically sampled in stereo. So when I play a key, you're actually hearing two notes, technically. You're hearing the left speaker and the right speaker or the left channel, the right channel, whatever you want to call it, but it's stereo, so you're hearing two. So one note equals two notes of polyphony. And when I press on the damper pedal, that also counts as a note of polyphony. Everything in MIDI counts as a note of polyphony. So now, let's take that a step further. I'm going to play a chord that's going to use four fingers. That's four notes, but they're stereo, so that's eight notes of polyphony. And when I play another chord using four fingers down at the bass, that's another eight notes of polyphony stereo here. So using two hands, I'm playing eight notes, but it's 16 notes of polyphony. All right, so if I'm holding the damper pedal, that counts as a note, so that's 17. Now, while I'm holding this and I play another 16, let, let's forget about the pedal counting as a note for a while, just to keep things simple. Here's 16 notes of polyphony, and here's another 16, 32, and another 16, 48, and another 16, 64, and another 16, 80, and another 16, 96, and so on and so forth. So when I do something like this, and I'm holding the pedal for each one, you can see how that quickly adds up. So while I'm doing something like this, the pedal down for each one. So that is the beauty of 
virtually unlimited polyphony. I can get away with just about anything. Whereas if I'm playing with something that has a hundred notes of polyphony, I mean, if there was a way to play all 88 keys at once, and you have to double that because each key is stereo, so you've got basically 176 notes of polyphony that you're playing. So with a keyboard of 100 notes polyphony, you're way beyond that. And whatever the algorithm is, it's going to cut off early notes to make room for the next notes. And that's what polyphony is all about. Now, when you're playing solo piano, yeah, it can add up. But when you're playing back a MIDI file, if your piano supports it, which is playing back multiple instruments, well, you get the picture. I mean, you're playing piano, you're playing drums and bass and guitar and all that stuff all through MIDI. And a hundred notes of polyphony basically isn't going to cut that. 256 would be okay. 384 would be better. 512 would be ideal, but unlimited? I mean, that is so cool. No manufacturer has come close to that. So that's what I wanted to get uh, across to you today in this video. I wanted to explain what polyphony was all about so that when you buy any Dexabel product, you're virtually getting unlimited polyphony and you don't have to worry about note stealing no matter how complex it is that you're playing. Or if you put together a symphony or whatever in your DAW using all 16 MIDI channels and each instrument is on a different MIDI channel, you don't have to worry about that. That is so cool. There's no other manufacturer that has done that. So that's what I wanted to get across for you today. And I hope this has helped you out. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.